this Wizards Hollow event is absolutely insane. Well, it was a few hours ago until they apparently nerfed it. Now, if you've not already heard, the current Wizards Hollow Ascended Path Bravery, you know, Ascended Dragons are nice, but you have to get to room 50 to get them, and they're normally pretty annoying and, you know, super RNG heavy, but this Wizards Hollow had a really, really major upside because in it we had Ascended Chest and we had Gem Chest. And the thing is, every single time you were doing a run in this event, if you got one of these gem chests, you'd get a minimum of 50 gems. And so, because of this, if you were someone that had an excess amount of gems, screenshots like this actually became kind of normal. And so, I'm talking players that have like 40 Ascended Dragons, 20 Ascended Dragons, and like 30 different perks, they all got that. For like a few hundred gems spent and normally they'd end up getting their gems back so now suddenly people that had like what 10 damage perks they've absolutely shot up phoenix perks absolutely shot up every single ascended dragon is now theirs and we've also got the redemption dragons as well so basically if you were someone that had some spare gems during this wizard's hollow event you were in luck and uh, the thing is, unfortunately, there is a big difference with Wizards Hollow for players that even have Wizards Hollow because some players are in Group A, some players are in Group B. Then there are also some players that just don't have Wizards Hollow at all because it doesn't appear in their game. I'm in Group A. And now, since this has been nerfed, it is probably not going to be worth it for you to do this. Certainly, probably not if you're in Group B. But I'm in Group A, and I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration of what these players were doing in order to get their hands on, well, a seemingly endless amount of Ascended Dragons and resources. Uh, one other thing I didn't mention about their pickups were that p players ended up getting about 100 to 200 million food alongside these rewards, along with thousands and thousands of gems. So basically, if you were a pay-to-win player that had some extra gems lying around or you were willing to spend, you were more or less getting like an endless amount of resources. Plus, some players have like 2,000 of um, the Joker Orbs that they can now use to E5 their dragons because Joker Orbs were also a possible dropout of this event. It's absolutely nuts. Basically, everything that you could possibly ever want and ever imagine was in this Wizards Hollow event. And, of course, that would be why they have reduced the drops on them. But like I said, I'm just going to give you an example of what these players were doing. Some players are still doing it, even though it has been nerfed. But it's still decent drops regardless. But, for instance, you know, you get your one-day reset. It's a free reset for that day, and so you don't have to spend any gems to do it. But since we've already done our one free reset today, which was complete, but we're going to have to spend gems. And what these players were doing is they would get to this stage where they've got, you know, their second, third, fiftieth run. They would try it for 10 gems. They would enter the Wizard's Hollow. And then basically, because of the drops on the blue and gold runes being so high for the times one to times three drops, mainly times three drops, it meant that getting this gem chest was actually pretty easy. And so if you think about it, it's like... If you can spend 50 gems on getting this gem chest and potentially getting this Call of the Divine Ascended chest as well, then basically you just, you, you don't lose any gems, but you just get free stuff on top. And that is basically what this entire Hollow was about. So yeah, normally I'm going to poop all over Hollow, and I'm probably going to poop on it right now because we're probably going to get screwed over by RNG. But the thing is, this was a massive payout for a lot of players. So if you see anyone with an absolutely insane amount of Ascended Dragons or Redemption Dragons, or suddenly an insane amount of food, they were probably doing Wizards Hollow for up to six hours a day, because that's what players were doing. They were grinding out this Hollow for six, twelve, 18 hours as soon as they found out that this was a thing they just sat here doing their runs over and over 
But rather than them getting VR orbs and tiny orbs, instead it was mainly just the blue and gold runes that they were getting. But you can see as we're doing our runs here, like we've got our dragon orb there, but these runes are like times two, times one. So rather than there being those huge times three runes, like before, instead it seems like these drop rates have been massively, massively reduced. So rather than you being able to, you know, start a run or start a rerun for gems and just be able to infinitely make gems, now it's going to be more of your regular wizard's hello that's mainly going to come down to luck. And like I've already spent 10 gems here just to do a refresh, which does mean that then our first death should cost five still. And uh, five gems, it would be nice to get that gem pick up, for instance. But since we've not died yet, I'm willing to at least pay five. There you go, there's our first wizard. Let's pay five just to keep going for now. And you'll see that compared to probably what we would have had before, our drops here are probably way lower than what we would have got if we'd have done this a little while ago, for instance. You know what, while we're here, I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do one more lot, see if we get any gems back on the 15 room and the room after. If not, I'm probably going to quit out. You know, we got our damage perk as well. But you'll see that you can just get royally screwed over in Wizards Hollow, which is not new news to really anyone. But when these drops were much higher and also when, you know, just getting these purple gem chests was so easy, getting back a minimum of 50 gems every single time it basically meant that you just got endless amounts of resources. I'm going to do... Am I going to risk two more to try and get some gems back? Do I risk this damage perk? I mean, we've we not really got anything of value here, so what the hell, let's go to 20. <laughs> We're probably going to die here. Death! No! Oh! Oh! Oh, baby, you're, you're doing me well here, game. But it's not going to be enough for us to get any... Oh! Okay! <laughs> okay, I think I'm leaving. <laughs> Uh, there we go, we got our gems back for this run. Fantastic! That's exactly what I wanted. So at least now it's not going to pay too much out, but you'll see that even though we're at room 20 right now, we're not even close to a single purple chest, and at the moment we're only at 6 out of 11, whereas before we might have even had one of these chests by now at this stage. But I'm going to quit out because I'm not a gambler personally. I don't like the gambling. I'm just going to take the gems this time. But... You know, even when people were grinding it, say they weren't too close to the next uh, chest drop, what they would do is just what I did just there. They would quit out and then they would go and try again. Because you spend 10 gems and then you, what, spend another 50 to get hundreds and hundreds of gems back. But either way, that is what players have been doing for like the last 24 hours straight, close to that we're in the know for this event. And uh, unfortunately for those of us that had tons of stuff to do, you know, we couldn't get in on the grind. And, you know, not everyone has a massive amount of extra gems that they can just pour in and potentially waste in this event. So if you are going to keep trying to grind in this Wizards Hollow, be aware that now it is mostly going to come down to luck, just like before, whereas before it was much more consistent. Now, taking this into account, if they have actually reduced these drop rates, which seemingly they have, there is another chest that a lot of players were really, really interested in, and it is actually this Metal Titan chest, which you'll see says it's coming on the 4th of the 7th to the 7th of the 7th. And the reason why players have been so interested in this chest, well, it's directly after... Oh god, we zoomed in too much. It is one chest after the Dual Perception chest, if all of this continues in this consistent manner, and nothing changes from Social Point. But the Metal Titan chest, of course, Metal Titan's whatever. It's uh, just a Titan. We don't care about him too much. It comes with Legendary Egg chest as a potential reward, which isn't too bad. But the actual thing that people care about is the gem chest. Uh, which, you know, we've just had this event here where the gem chest was giving at least 50 per chest. Well, with this upcoming Titan chest, apparently it was going to drop at least 180 per chest which that seems insane and of course you could get 1800 gems in this chest even if you get super lucky which would be an absolutely nuts drop the thing is now that we've had this wizard's hollow changed our social point going to end up changing these drop rates on this chest before that time 
well, I think it's probably pretty possible. There is another gem chest here, which you'll see for Revival Karma, which was another supposed to be 50 gems chest. Maybe they will leave this Titan chest as 180, in which case it would be very, very, very nice to be able to save up some gems and just spend them like crazy on this, because 180 minimum coming back. Ooh. I mean, the other reward's not quite as nuts as the current week, because the other reward is just random legendaries. Whereas the other bonus, of course, in Ascended Path Bravery was that other chest that can also give you tons of absolutely nuts drops. But either way, that is that has been the huge thing going on. You'd see posts on Reddit, Facebook, Discord, YouTube, everywhere you go, people just going absolutely nuts over the last 24 hours. I will say, however, that because this has happened, this probably means that all of the Ascended Dragons and such are probably going to end up going down in terms of their trade value. So this is actually a good thing if you're someone like me that, one, didn't manage to get in on this... Uh, it, wasn't a, it wasn't a bug, it was just them basically balancing the chess more so in the player favour than they probably should have. Um, but if you're like me and you didn't have the time to invest or didn't want to invest into this current Wizards Hollow before it was nerfed, and you've got barely any of the Ascended Dragons, this might actually be a really good time for you because there are going to be tons of people with tons of Ascended Dragons and tons of Redemption Dragons. And that's going to mean potentially tons of extra orbs lying around. Now, one thing about that, however, is that a lot of these players are going to end up hatching these dragons. Because if you didn't know, Ascended Dragons and other VIPs in general, they actually produce food on your islands. And so this means if you manage to get your hands on 40 Ascended Dragons, if you hatch all of them, your food earning per minute is going to absolutely skyrocket. And the earlier that you get this as a player, the better it's going to be for you, because the sooner you can get your food per minute absolutely skyrocketing, the better off you're going to be. But I think that some players also do have an interest in their collection side, so maybe they'll use one or two of their Ascended Dragons to trade out orbs for. The rest, maybe they'll just hatch and pop on their islands. But... I think that in the near future is going to be a really good time to get pickups of these dragons. I mean, we've been getting pickups of them anyway from like the various event chests and such. But I think post this Wizards Hollow, there's going to be tons and tons of players just going absolutely nuts with the trading on these. And plus, lots of people picked up lots of legendary essence from it as well. But... I guess that was the major thing that has been going on. I'm sorry that I didn't get through to making a video before it was nerfed. Uh, we were talking about it a lot on Discord and you could see everyone going absolutely crazy and grinding it for like 12 plus hours over the last day. Uh, but, you know, it is one of those things, much like the rescue. You know how we get the special dragon rescue sometimes? Like we get them for Hierophant, who his egg is currently sitting in a hatchery or for bisexual dragon, you know, those rescue dragons that turn up very suddenly by accident. It's kind of like that, except this Wizards Hollow stuff kind of required players to already have a pre-existing number of gems and basically bet on them. Uh, but it was very, very forgiving, whereas usually Wizards Hollow is a big old pile of poop. Uh, but now I wouldn't say it's terrible. I'd say it's still probably going to be one of the better Wizards Hollows that we're going to get. It's just now it very much will come down to how lucky a player gets in terms of their drops. Which now you're going to have to get much luckier than you had to, well, like five hours ago. But I guess that is all of that done. Of course, we are still grinding through in the puzzle event because we've still got puzzling stuff to do. We've still got a few days of puzzle left and then of course we're gonna get runner event but there's still destiny quests on if you're still trying to grind for destiny orbs so maybe you'll get that done and um, i have been doing some grinding with multi tug tina over here as well but i think after the chaos that is wizards hollow and seeing the amount of dragons that people have picked up you know everything else just seems uh, <laughs> it just doesn't seem as impressive anymore you know, I say impressive, but of course these players are just taking advantage of something in-game that was balanced in a way that was actually incredibly good for a player that was either willing to buy gems or for a player that just in general was just 
at a good time had an influx of gems. Maybe like you'd just done your Ebony task or you'd just done a different game's task. In that case, you were in an absolutely fantastic position to just spend the gems and just get the Ascended Dragons back. For most players, especially free to plays, they typically hover around the couple of hundred gems mark, maybe a bit more if they've saved up a bit. But you know, between all the event spending and everything else, they normally sit around like the, you know, I'd say 300 gem range. I just always spend my gems on events and things like that because I'm always doing things in this game. Uh, but, you know, I did my Ebony Tesk a long time ago now. We got Corrupted Legend from it. Uh, but it's like, if you could go back in time and give yourself those gems back, would you spend them on getting Corrupted Legend or would you just spend all of them on this Wizard's Hollow? I'd probably spend them on the Hollow first because then we probably would have gotten an extra thousand gems to then spend on <laughs> Corrupted Legend. But, you know, there's no way to predict that we're going to get something quite as broken as what we just got. Uh, but if you do see any of those crazy screenshots, rather than just calling all these players, you know, hackers or other foul names, anything like that, just be aware that the reason it's happened is it's not their fault. They're just taking advantage of it at a good time, basically. But I'm, I'm sure that was a lot of fun for the, those of you out there that were busy grinding this event and basically putting all of your gems on the line because, I mean, yeah, realistically, if you get screwed over with RNG, even with the good drop rates, you had the potential to lose hundreds and hundreds of gems. Especially if you were Group B players, which are players that, you know, they don't get that first revive to cost 5, instead it cost 10, and then it doubles from there, so... It's just a hell of a lot more difficult for those players in Group B to grind it out. And certainly now, I don't think it's ever worth them, you know, spending the gems to revive just to then basically get nothing out of it. Before it was potentially worth it, but not anymore. Or you'd have to get very lucky for it to be worth it, but I'd say it's more balanced now. It's more, it's more balanced to what we're used to anyway. Personally, I'm in big favor of these you know, pay to win games basically suddenly making it possible for players to get a massive, massive advantage and catch up. But at the same time, the players that were already majorly ahead and didn't need to catch up, they also managed to get a huge benefit out of this as well. So who really wins in the end? Well, I don't know. I guess anyone that managed to do it at the end of the day. But, you know, we will keep grinding. We will keep... Uh, doing our thing we'll keep trading for destiny orbs just in case we manage to get enough just before the quests finish but i will say that um i'm really happy for the players that managed to get like what 30 to 40 ascended dragons for basically nothing and especially for any of the newer players that managed to take advantage of this like there are new players brand new players that legitimately have like 10 ascended dragons right now and just imagine how good that's going to be for them it's going to be absolutely nuts for them and all of those perks as well man some players are absolutely set but i guess that is just the way it be and dragon city is one of those games where these things very suddenly happen and there's not really any pre-warning to them and oh my god i forgot that uh honkai was already open my mistake <laughs> oopsie poopsie that's what i get for not paying attention but anyway i appreciate you joining me here today and uh you know if you are still going to be grinding this best of luck to you i hope you get the dragons that you want or the gems whatever it may be